and now we are back in Ludon City, and we have just visited the inn where somebody has told us about the guy that we're looking for named uh, Mazu, I think it was, and it said that he is in the uh, archaeological site beneath the city, which is in the garden, the hedge maze to the south. Whoa, you guys wait here while I fetch this professor. But why? I want to go too. No offense, kid, but on a bounty job, all sorts of things can happen, and I don't want to see anybody hurt. Besides, I'll be faster if I go alone. Are you sure? With a team, we have the advantage of being in a bigger number. Leave this to me. I'm a professional. Time is passing, and we don't want to lose the track of this boy's, of the boy's father. If that's your choice, good luck. Wait. What is it? We're all part of this, and I don't think that just by sitting here we'll be doing any good. I told you, kid, you're inexperienced. You'll just get in the way. Yes, but how will I ever get stronger just by sitting here and waiting for others to do work for me? I want to help no matter how dangerous it is. That's the spirit, Hostin. We're in this together, so you can also count me in. And me! I'm going too. That's what friends are for, right, Allie? You bet. I really don't... Well, it looks like we're all going together then. Don't worry, Mr. Bounty Hunter. These kids are stronger than they look. Besides, I'll look after them. I promise we won't get in your way. Have it your way. Now, apparently, in the, uh, the maze down here, there are going to be random encounters, and even worse is you can't see. So you have to follow some very specific directions, and thankfully if you're playing in the HD version like I am, you can just turn the random encounters off so that you don't have to distract yourself with uh, that and lose track of how many steps you've taken in which direction. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. Let's go down to the encounter rate and turn it all the way off. Well, apparently, you can see. Anyway. Uh, oh, there it goes. What the? Looks like the lights are out. Okay. Whoa. Not entirely. Must be a bad electrical circuit. Great. Just what we needed. Right, from the start, go one step south. Five steps west. One, two, three, four, five. That'll take you there. Uh, six north, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to go over here. Fine. There we go, we got an aloe there. From the aloe vera, six east, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go, eight north, one, two, three, four, one. Stupid pathfinding. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Go to get the master key, which is going to be on this way. Nope. Yeah, pathfinding of this sucks. So all the way north here, up this hallway. There's the master key. For the master key, you want to go one to the east, eight south, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six east, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen south, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we've got three west, one, two, three, five south, one, two, three, four, five. Five, there we go. Three east. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Just wait for the lights to come back on because this actually isn't making sense. Um, don't want to go up there, I want to go over this way. Here. This is gonna be 
a gold block? Yeah, it's a gold block. Alright, now from there, we go out this way, down through this passage, all the way down here. Stairs. And out here to get to this one. Okay. Now from here, there's gonna be another chest to get in the southeasternmost section of the maze. And to get there, you wanna go down this way. Down this way. There it is. However, I don't think you can get it without the opening spell. This is where the hook is. I guess it wouldn't have been so bad to grab earlier. Or it wouldn't have been so bad not to buy. There are two exits, but they're both dead ends. The way out from here, um, where you open the hook, looks like I want to go back up to the north where those stairs were. before we approach the man down there. That's right here. And a potion plus. Alright, now doing all that, we can approach this man, but first, I'll make sure I'm properly equipped. And this guy we've been looking for is harmless, but somehow manages to summon a guardian to defend himself. Looks like they're going to be doing. Looks like they're going to be doing uh, earth-based damage. So we're going to re-equip with feathers. Okay, my joystick is not cooperating. Uh, what is that thing called? Oh my 
Josh choice to cooperate. There it is, the Shuringen. I'm gonna put this on our damage dealer, who's gonna be Odessa. Um, because he's got that hook weapon now, which does the 65% critical chance. And now we are ready to fight. Who are you? What are you doing here? Save your questions for later. Cooperate and you won't be harmed. Now come with me. Okay, okay, calm down. Let me just pack this little box here. It's quite fragile. What? Okay, as usual, we're just going to focus on doing damage to the main dude. And it says here that you should just pound him with spells. So at first, everybody's just going to do a round of gather. Alina and Roller as our healers. And somebody is our battery for gathering. We'll see who has the most potent magic. That's probably gonna be the person who's gonna be doing the most magical attack. So now everybody has a round of gather going on. We should be able to do everything one and a half times better. Now, hospital. We're gonna have an avocado blast. I'm gonna save her spells for healing and just use some attacking. This is just going to attack. Oh, it's got air blow, so we're gonna do that. Lava fall sounds pretty cool. And that we still need one more gather for her. Do that. Cutler's mm -hmm. there doing the crowd control. So and Carly could both use a little bit of healing. So that's what I'm gonna do. First avocado blast. And heal spell. And I so. And attack. And I'm going to go myself.
surprised the minions haven't died off yet. Got a bunch of damage to them. It looks like Zulimi could use some healing. That's what I'm going to do. Yep, there goes the boss. Easy as pie. What the heck was that? Just what do you think you're trying to pull here? Hey, hey! I have nothing to do with that. I heard of a monster who guards this place, but after getting this deep and never seeing it, I just assumed it was nothing but a legend. Very clever. Could have been booby-trapped. To that box you just took. Hmm. Now move. I assume this is a contract. Who's your client? What were you paid for this? I hope it was a, I hope it was substantial. I'm not worth this much trouble. You sell yourself short. You're a bounty hunter, right? Why come all the way here? I've broken no law. Sweet talk's over, old man. Come. And now we're back in Ludon with the guy. Aha! Told you I'd be done in no time. So this is the one we're supposed to bring back, huh? Deja vu. What did you just say? Nothing, just that... What is he saying? What did you just say, old man? Nothing important. You look like someone I once knew. Who would that be? Fellow academic. We worked together on a couple times. Went by the name of Rudy. That's my father! You're his son? I thought you'd be older by now. I'm 16! Ketchup time can wait. We should head out. Wait, is that box you're holding? It looks so old. It's supposed to look old. This is one of the oldest pieces I've ever found in my life. It must be thousands of years old. The word ancient is not enough to suit its age. Maybe that's why it seems impossible to open. I've tried to open it with every tool I have, but it's locked like an oyster. I have to say, it looks a little creepy, but interesting indeed. May I? What? How is it possible? Witchcraft? How did you... I've never seen something like that happen before. Are you a... Of course I'm not a witch. Simply open while I held it. Unexpected. But look at this. A bracelet? It's gorgeous. Do you think it belonged to a queen? I doubt, but we'll keep it just in case. Wait, you can't just steal that from me. Shut up, old man. I can read some characters engraved inside. It's in the ancient language. Show me. I can help you translate. I said quiet. I can read it as, as well. Let's see. B-E-T-H-I-N-A. Oh my. Could it, could it be? This belonged to Bethina, the architect. Oh please. Let me see it. That's enough. We spent too much time here already. Time to deliver you to my client. I agree. Elena, we can study it later. Let's go. And now we're back to Mazuka. Who the heck is Madame Mazuka? Watch your step. Hello, Orion. Makina? How did you come up with Mazuka? Sounds like a rectal disease. Mazuka's revenge. Even after all these years, you still find words to insult me. Madame Mazuka, our job has been completed. Now our information? We need time to chat. Come back later and make sure you have 1500 gold on hand. But we agreed that you'll want to buy something I have. Now please leave, I have some business to take care of. <laughs> Madame Azuka will take some time to take care of her business. Meanwhile, we should get some cash. She predicted we'll need to buy one of her items that cost 1500 gold. So it says that I need to leave and come back. Apparently this is our last time in a sock, so if you need to do something here, do it. I unfortunately don't think I really have anything I need to do here, so... Um, 
I'm just gonna go right back. Frick it. I've seen the man you're looking for. He purchased herbs for me. Did he say about where he was going? Patience, young man. There was someone with him. Maybe a friend, maybe a partner. The, re the request was an odd one. Mind shoe herbs. Not easy to find around these parts, but I got them, and they paid me well. Dad's sick again. That's it? That's all you have for us? Of course not. They kept asking about a machine. Apparently I'm supposed to know everything. This isn't very helpful. We need to know where they are. Calm yourself. Madame Azuka never breaks her promise. Since I know nothing about the machine, I tell them that if it exists at all, surely something is written about it in the great library of the Hambacus Kingdom. Hambacus Kingdom? Of course, the Hambacus Kingdom was raised many years ago. However, the ruler was a lover of literature, and they managed to salvage almost the entire collection. Eventually, the wo whole lot of it fell into the hands of a single benefactor, a bit of a, how do you say, a mad scientist. I don't suppose you know where the library is? Haha, <laughs> all I know was that it was at the mainland. I'm afraid rich benefactors tend to keep their treasures to themselves. The contents of the library are legendary, however. My guess is whatever they're looking for is in there, which means they're looking for the library too. So we get there first and wait for them? The choice is your own. Have you the money I asked for? We do. 1500 gold paid. Got the perfume. You'll need this in the future. And how do you know that? I am Madame Azuka, and I see your future. Ha ha ha! It's my bet. Leave me alone. Um, question. That man, why did you have us fetch him? We may call it a lover's quarrel and leave it at that. I intend to show what it means to break someone's heart. Okay. Let's see if she has anything else to say. Uh, yeah. All right. So I visited Mizuka. Mizuka. Are you done? I'm the next in line to see Madame Mizuka. Yes, I'm done. Which she'll get for me, my loved one, of course. Oh, I can't wait to see the madam. <clears throat> okay, can't go that way. That is the scariest woman I've ever seen. You think she was telling the truth? Well, it's all we have to go by. We might as well rest before we head out, um, Mr. Bounty Hunter. Yes? Thank you for your assistance. Here's your payment. Why, thank you. Truth is, you've endeared yourselves to me so much. I'd like to see this through to the end. <coughs> we appreciate the gesture, but unfortunately our funds have run a little dry. My services from now on are free, though I suppose I should be entirely honest with you. <gasps> you! What? But why didn't you tell us? As I said, I'm a bounty hunter, and I reveal only what my clients need to know. But now? But now I'm rather sympathetic to your cause, not to mention, of course, that this Mr. Crawler here is rather handsome. <laughs> I don't see why we should trust you. You've been lying to us this entire time. Alina, she's also been helping us this entire time. Regardless of the Rugrat's opinion, I can be of some help, if you'll have me along. Of course, though things may get a little more dangerous from here on out. Danger is not something I'm unfamiliar with. Wait, whose boat did you give us? <laughs> it just ends there. It's pretty funny.
boat ride, boat ride, boat ride, oh, boat ride, it is. Alright, now Verahancha is where we are now, and this city is absolutely huge. <coughs> that being said, there's a lot of items to collect, some of them very important. So I'm going to show you as best as I can where to go. Um, starting from where the boat is, I'm going to want to go up north here. I think, yeah, go up north. This way to the south. Yes? Yes. Continue over this way. Wait a second. Go. There we go. Yeah, this joystick is really giving me problems. Uh, this way. And we get a fish. I don't know if that's actually an important item, but we got one. There. We go the back, we go back, we go back, we go back. Way back. Okay, here are all the boxes and the manuals are in them. But the cartridges? Where are they? I guess that's a video game manufacturing. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be annoying. Dude, get out of my way. Oh no. Come on. This is probably the most annoying feature in the whole game. NPC is blocking your path. Yes, finally. Alright, so from there we go up here. Oh, up north ish. Over here. I'm gonna go up the stairs and into this building here. You're from Regia? Hmm, okay. Doesn't really amaze me, as we're not used to foreign travelers here. Not long ago, I met a Regian doctor, for example. Hmm. If I wash my clothes in 60C, they will surely be clean, but some garments might get ruined, and if I do it at 40C, <coughs> some spots may still stay, while the clothes will stay intact. What should I do? I feel sorry for the animals we eat. You never know how they were treated before and during the slaughter, so I don't eat meat, but I do eat fish, which is really something you must do here. They don't have any feelings, and they are also quite healthy to eat. However, I don't eat tuna because of dolphins, you know? Nope, don't know. <clears throat> I lost my job, but fortunately I can still pay the bills thanks to the unemployment benefit fund. However, if I don't find a new job soon, I'll be in trouble, as the money I receive gets slower the longer I'm unemployed. <sighs> There's nothing I hate more than getting up early in the mornings, which I have to do most days of the week. It's so painful. Since I always oversleep, I must do things much faster than I can handle while still without energy. Okay, that's great. Uh, so next up, we have to go... Basically, I'm just looking at the map and trying to figure my way around the city. Go this way. <coughs> oh, I got such an itch in my throat. There's another chest up here. Containing the fig. And from there, come back down. Make sure I'm doing this right. I'm not doing this right. Down these stairs. Go this way. And there is a save point right here. So that's going to be all for this episode. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.